Hey, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for my beloveds. I will all is peace and blissed in your world. It is the start of the week, so I wanted to start off uh, picking up on the energy to see what's coming in, going out, going on with our beloveds. I want to let all who may be new, first and foremost, I want to welcome you to the channel. Um, this is a general reading, so that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it does not apply, let it fly by. Know that you are more than just your sun sign. So check your other placements, such as your moon, your rising, Mercury, Venus, Mars. Check your other placements for a more detailed message. Uh, my readings are timeless, so that means whenever you find yourself clicking on this video, that will be the divine timing intended for you all to do so, beloveds. Um, for anyone who may be new, I too am a Scorpio and I am an empath and I am also intuitive and clairaudient. So you will hear music playing in the background and uh, the messages from the music and the reading or the cards tend to blend very beautifully. It's just like magic. <laughs> right now we have Donnie uh, playing and the name of this is called Cloud Nine um, and the... Um, time is 703 so that reduces to 10 so I do feel like a lot of you all have just uh, finalized a chapter in your lives uh, completion but I feel there's a sense of happiness um, I don't feel like there's sadness I don't feel like there's depression I don't feel like this sense of solemn or or um, you know um, sadness I do feel that you all are uh, pretty empowered you know you feel more empowered you feel enlightened coming into a new cycle um, I feel like there's a lot of clarity I feel like you're owning your power um, and as soon as I say that look what's on the bottom of this deck magic um, so you all have it's almost as if you've discovered how powerfully magical you all are um, I feel like you've taken the time during this um, karmic lesson to start owning your power um, I feel like that's what kind of sped the healing process up along um, but I do feel it's a strong sense of enlightenment like you all coming into some sort of awareness or um, coming into the truth of who you are realizing that you are the alchemist in your lives that you can co-create with source and you know create the potions and elixirs to life um, right now we have Atlantis I'm sorry we have yeah, Alanis set. you shouldn't, um, um, and I swear uh, to remind you of the mess you left when you went away. So yeah, like, it's like you're, you're enlightened, you're empowered, and it's like now, it's almost like whoever that past person was, it's almost as if they, like, they, they triggered something in you and, and that's what they were uh, brought into your life to do to kind of trigger you into your power um, and you're on cloud nine like you're, you're feeling like you're feeling really um, I feel like you're like floating right now you know it's like a natural high almost you know maybe some of you all are chiefing maybe some of you all like to smoke some exotic here and there you know you like to have a nice little uh joint you know when you're creating um you know and i don't feel anything is is um you know you can do what you want to do you know that's your business but i do feel like a lot of y'all do it more so for um it's more like recreational you know what i'm saying it's like when you are in a creative space some of you all may you know take a couple of tokes of that J, you know, that joint, because with cloud nine, I'm just picking up on that energy. But I do feel like you all are owning your power. You're in your power with this magic card on the bottom of the deck. So before we delve any deeper, that's just what I'm picking up intuitively. Um, let's go ahead and call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, deities, animal totems, earth mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and delight. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and the discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so would it be, Ashe. So with you ought to know, I feel like um, it's almost as if like, you know, 
the divine is is telling you like you know somebody ought to know better now it's almost like they they ought to knew better like messing with you it's like they ought to knew like you ought to know you know or maybe you're telling someone like um you know because with that Atlantis Mona said song it's like she's literally like you know she's 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 breaking it down to brother <laughs> you know like you know um it's a very um very empowering song it's like she's taking a power back but she's reading his ass so she's like she's letting him know after the fact that's why i feel like there was a sense of like enlightenment with that cloud nine seeing things from hindsight you know from a, a different perspective a different vantage point um you know kind of like reflecting on some really difficult times um with this uh card on the bottom we got dream you know, so maybe some of you all are returning back to your dreams. Uh, that came up in the former reading where you all are like, you know, rediscovering what your purpose is, you know, what your passion is, um, you know, honing those skills and talents and gifts um, that you so enjoyed, you know, before. And so it's like you're going back to it. Um, but I feel like, you know, that's what's kind of like sparking um, some of these memories as well. You know, this like this like this. Um, it's like you're recalling something. But, you know, let's go ahead and get some messages from the cards. And look at that. Magic wanted to jump back out. And I almost feel like I need to, like, let her. But right underneath that, we have this card of boundaries. So you obviously set boundaries because you discovered your power. You discovered your um, strengths in a certain area. And I'm going to take that because I do feel like that message wanted to come out. Some of you all were using, like... Um, you were using like crystals like in, in your Reiki. Maybe some of you all are studying Reiki. You all are healers. So you may utilize crystals. Um, there is an ancient comedic uh, Reiki practice where you could utilize like crystals in your healing. Um, you know, sound therapy as well in the Reiki healing. I feel some of you also use candle magic. You know, some of you all are utilizing that or facilitating some sort of magic with uh, candles. Um, maybe some of you all use moon cycles. Certain, certain uh, moon phases uh, can kind of like um, amplify the um, the magic, you know, it will amplify the effectiveness of your magic. I feel there's definitely a safe space that you all have created for yourselves. Um, you're away from all the fuckery, away from all the negativity. And with that boundaries card that showed up, I do feel like it's because you have set healthy boundaries. Um, you're no longer allowing people to uh, be energy vampires, to live vicariously through you, uh, to, to, you know, have you overcompensating, or, you know, these individuals who are not reciprocating those gestures. I feel like you've learned a lot. That's why I was picking up on, you know, a lot of enlightenment. Um, and you're also still learning. It's like you're in a very studious energy. You're in a very powerful energy. Many of you have created a safe space, a safe haven. And I do feel many of you love crystals. You may have a lot of crystals around your home, a lot of, um, you know, like... Um, you know, geode cathedrals, you know, those beautiful tower geode um, crystals. Uh, you may have a lot of just crystals in general um, that you may be working with right now to help heal you. Um, and I feel like many of you are also, you know, just doing what you can to make sure that your home is you know, your safe space, your safe haven, your sanctuary. Um, this is a space where you don't allow any negativity in it. You know, if people start coming in with negative energy, you be like, look, you got to get out of my house with all of that. We don't do that here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't do all of that here. You know what I'm saying? You don't allow your children to speak in a negative tone uh, because you know that, you know, in that environment, that's a space where you're creating. Um, it's like your little, you know, you know like your little magical um your little magical space, you know, so I do feel like many of you are, um, you know, in that energy of just really um, protecting your energy and manifesting and like I said, co-creating, studying, learning. Um, I just feel a sense of enlightenment, like you are just enlightening yourself to truths, enlightening yourself to, you know, what's going on around you. But again, that's what I was picking up. With the energy. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on with our beloved Scorpios. This is called the Awakened Soul Tarot deck. So let's see what we got on the bottom of the deck. So look at that. Gratitude. I love that. 
So you all are very gracious, very thankful. I feel like there's, just as I said, with that cloud nine, it's like you're floating. It's like some good things are taking place. Like maybe some of you all are receiving some wish fulfillment. I feel like a lot of you have um, realized that you are protected. Look at all those feathers. You have a lot of angels. Some of you could be finding feathers. You know, maybe you all love feathers. Um, I sell a feather-shaped um, Palo Santo necklace. So for some of you that love feathers, you may want to go and peruse my Etsy shop because I do have a lot of items on there. But I do feel this sense of gratitude. Thanks. You know, you're very humbled. You're thankful to your angels, your guides for getting you through something. I feel a strong sense of even self-love. You know, it's like you've been healing. You've been healing. Um, like I said, after, you know, dealing with some sort of karmic situationship or relationship or circumstance it's like you've completed that cycle that's why you're now floating on cloud nine and that's why you now have a different perspective which sparked enlightenment you've also learned how to utilize your power how to transmute hurt and pain disappointment betrayal it was just 11 11 we got the thompson twins singing hold me now so i feel like you feel protected you feel a sense of, you know, like your angels are protecting you, comforting you, carrying you, that they've carried you through some difficult times. You all may be having someone come into your life who's going to make you feel uh, very safe, you know, feel like you can confide in them and trust them. And that's a lot to you. That means a lot to you because you couldn't trust the former person or you didn't have... Um, you know, you didn't really um, feel like you can open up, you know, to that form of person. Or maybe you discovered that some of the people you were, you know, calling friend and family, uh, you know, definitely weren't that at all. But I feel like now there's this sense of gratitude because it's almost as if your wishes are being, you know, answered. Your prayers are being answered. Your wishes are being granted, rather. And you have nothing but thanksgiving. You're humbled by that. This is beautiful. So this is the overall energy is gratitude. You feel a sense of gratitude to your angels. And this magic card is your bonus message because this wanted to jump out. So I do feel like you all are like, like I said, co-conspiring with source. You've realized your power and you're utilizing it by any means. I feel like many of you definitely have meditate. You're meditating um, a lot more now, implementing more time to connect with yourself, your higher self to receive those, you know, divine downloads. But you do feel gratitude because I feel like you've made it through some difficult times and you felt protected. You felt the comfort of your ancestors, your angels, your guides. You felt them around you. You felt them comforting you. And I feel like they are around you all the time. You know, and you feel it. You know it. You sense it. You may be receiving like synchronicities, number synchronicities, like we said just now, it was 1111. So some of you all may be seeing 1111. Some of you all may be um, seeing 444. We have on the bottom of the deck, unplug. So I do feel like many of you uh, have taken that time, especially with solitude. You took some time away from people. You set those boundaries. I feel like you removed yourself from all of the chatter, all of the noise that was around you, whether that was literal people or whether it was just the distractions of, you know, the hustle and bustle of life. You know, maybe some of you all just kind of like um, kind of went into, you know, into that hermit mode state. Maybe that's what you're doing now. This is the winter month, so this is a time where people tend to kind of, you know, kind of disconnect, go within, go into hibernation, you know, and kind of strengthen themselves, prepare themselves, you know, for the new year, you know, which is springtime. Um, but I do feel like, you know, there's a necessity to do some deeper dives internally, uh, some self-analysis to do a lot of internal work. Um, maybe you all are, you know, going to find yourselves, you know, find your truths um, when you disconnect. This is about like, you know, turning off your phones, you know, putting that phone on airplane mode or turning off your computers and your laptops and your TVs and just going and taking a nice little stroll in nature. You know, and right now we have force of nature, as I'm telling you, to take a stroll in nature. And the name of this song is called, it's an instrumental and I'm waiting for the name of it. 
and this is called Just Forget. So yeah, it's like, you know, when you take a nature walk, it allows for you to forget, you know, some of the some of the trauma that you all have endured. You know, it allows you to forget, you know, uh, the stress, the aggravation, you know. It allows you to get lost in the peace that is of Mother Earth. It's just like, you know, maybe some of you all need to take a, you know, a trip to the beach. Take a trip to the water, you know, just go by the water. You know, go see, sit down and just watch the sunrise or the sunset, you know, really connect, sun gaze, you know, really take some time to really um, connect with Mother Gaia, being out in nature, listening to the birds, you know, watching the squirrels run around and just be in that element of groundedness. You know, it allows you to connect. But this card is um, suggesting that you need to unplug. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light, what's coming in for our beloved Scorpios? Thank you, Spirit. And the bottom of the deck, we have Rebirth. So you've definitely transformed. And that's why I was feeling a sense of enlightenment because there was a death. There was an ending. So I feel like, you know, that ending has sparked, um, you know, almost like this new version. Like you've, you've reinvented yourself. You're emerging from, you know, the, the ashes as this more powerfully refined Scorpio you know, wiser, stronger, um, more in tune, more in touch, more connected, you know, it's beautiful. And so we have silence. So there is a need to kind of like quiet the mind, to meditate more, because I do feel like there's a lot of truths that will come to you, a lot of downloads, transmissions, activations. I feel like the vine is saying that you already... Um, own the keys. You already own the keys of wisdom, of knowledge, of understanding. Because if you look closely, she's holding the keys. And it's because you've, like I said, she's looking backwards. So it's almost like, you know, the, the awareness, you know, the self-reflection, the introspection. You know, sometimes you got to go look, you know, look at a situation, a circumstance in order to better understand and understand it. So I do feel like, again, you know, that's what the hermit mode is all about. That's what sitting in silence is all about. That's what unplugging is because you can kind of make sense of maybe some of the chatter that happens within your own mind. But it's like this new voyage, this new journey, which is on the opposite side of this door. You own the keys to the door. So you now know how to unlock, you know, you know the doors to other dimensions. You know how to astral travel. You know how to... Perhaps you are um, someone who is capable of even like um, like telepathy, you know, you're very telepathic. I feel you're highly intuitive because this door is purple. That's the color of like the crown chakra. So I do feel like you've kind of reached a sense of like Christ consciousness and through silence is how you're able to achieve that goal. My throat chakra is blocking up. Let me get some water. <coughs> Excuse me. Right now we have Luther Vandross, if this world were mine. So let me get just my water, please. So maybe you are, you know, connecting with your beloved um, via dreams, you know. When you're quiet, you feel their, you know, you can feel their energy. They can feel yours. Maybe the two of you communicate, like I said, telepathically, because the name of this is If This World Were Mine. So I do feel like, okay, again, with the world reference, that you have completed a cycle, you know, and there's a sense of like you now going to receive everything um, in this new phase and stage of your life, this new junction. On the opposite side of this door, I feel like you know love awaits, you know. This is such a beautiful song, one of my favorites from Luther Vantross. Maybe Rise in Power King. May you rise in power. So that's beautiful. So it's almost like you know. You see this little smirk and smile. It's like you know what's awaiting you. And you know that if this world was yours, which it is because you have the keys... So it's almost as if you know you could create, you know, the reality you want. It's something you've manifested, you know, with this magic card. 
So I feel like you're creating. You're sitting in silence. Some of you are visualizing what you want. You're obviously grounded, you know. So you are in a space and state of oneness, wholeness, balance. You're in harmony. And there's a sense of connectedness, as I said. And that's what you're feeling gratitude and thanks for. Because you've mastered something. You've learned the art of manifesting. You learned you are an alchemist. And you have gratitude for this gift, for this power, for being able to hone in and channel in on that energy. And it's allowing you to, you know, to like, you've, you've learned that you are almost like a master teacher. When you own the keys, you know, the keys are the keys of life, you know, and you possess the keys of life. So that represents knowledge, wisdom, or wise dome, and understanding. So the world is yours. If this world were yours, what would you do with it? And I feel like for you, the first thing you're going to do is ensure that there is a sense of like stability, you know, because we already saw you, you've created a safe haven for yourself. You've set boundaries to, you know, block out any negativity and any um, energy vampirism or any just low vibrational energy. So now you're floating. You're all about growth, expansion prosperity look at all the green all the trees all the foliage that represents life so you want things to breathe life into your existence you don't want things to suck out the life from you or you know to steal the joy from you or to take take away to to destroy you want things to build build you up so let's see so with this rebirth you've transformed into your power so that's beautiful. That's Scorpionic energy. So you showing up in your own energy. Look at this. We have adventure. So look at that. There's yet another door. Another doorway. And so this is about you. You're, you're being more adventurous. You're being more daring. You're doing the things you want to do. Some of you all may be hiking. Some of you all may be taking a trip. But I do feel like there's a sense of like freedom when you are out in nature. I feel like you've learned a lot. You've learned to trust the process. You've learned not to be fearful, to just go with the flow, to go wherever it is your heart strings pull you, whatever direction. With this adventure, I do feel in this new phase and stage, there's going to be more excitement because I feel like you've just been like working really hard on healing thyself, you know, on breaking certain yokes and generational curses and hexes and now there's a sense of like happiness joy peace excitement the unexpected is awaiting you and i feel like you're you're going it's gonna like take you to new heights i feel like there's almost a sense of like just following your passion now you're following what you wish to do you're looking for excitement i feel things have been very like very serious very routine very regimented in the past and now it's like there's more um more joy you know this is beautiful and so we have the brat feature entirely tyrese and this is called what you like so yeah you're gonna start doing the things you like you're gonna start you know exploring more you know, some of you all, there could have been some trips that you wanted to take. And maybe your ex was like, look, I don't like going out in nature. I don't want to take no nature walks. I don't want... It was just because you two were not, like, you weren't on the same vibration. But I feel like now you're going to meet people on your wavelength, like minds, A alike, B alike. You're going to meet people that speak your language. Other soul tribes, soul family members. They're going to, like, it's going to bring bring more excitement. But I feel more importantly, you're going to start doing the things you like to do. You're going to start doing the things that make you happy, that bring you excitement and joy. On the bottom of the deck, we have perspective. So, yeah, you're now looking at things from a completely different perspective. And this is because you've broken free from something that was kind of like stagnating your energy or kind of bringing you down, you know. It was like almost like blindsiding you. And I feel like you're getting lost um, in something that you enjoy. 
I feel like you have this this brand new epiphany. Maybe there's some sort of um, talent that you have. Maybe some of you are painters. You're artists. And I feel like you you have range. Like you have um, a very brilliant eye. You know, I'm hearing Picasso. Like you, you want some Picasso. You know, you're on like... Uh, Jean Petit, whatever his name was, that, that artist who passed so young. Um, very talented artist. And um, I remember in the 90s, I would see his work, you know, kind of everywhere, all over the place. When I would take the train, when I would go downtown. Um, Basquiat, that's his name. And he was a very talented artist. So I feel like, you know, for some of you all, you all are like painters or artists or graffiti artists or you 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 just have a different range i heard the word range and it's just like it's just your eyes like you are um you're just very gifted you see the world differently and so your 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 range and your perspective is um is absolutely like it's beautiful you know those who get it get it those who don't just don't but it's beautiful. And you know, um, I believe Picasso was a Scorpio also. So that's why I was feeling like some of you all could absolutely be like painters. You know, um, I'm hearing a word acrylic and water, watermark. I don't, I don't. So some of you all may use those uh, particular types of uh, paint to to do um, your 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 art to create rather um, so let's see so what you like um, so yeah you know maybe some of you all need to be more um, you need to start doing what you like so for some of you all you are painters you are artists and the divine is telling you to do what you like um, be more daring you know take more risks um, this compass is about direction so I do feel like a lot of you all are um, are going in a whole new direction and and that new direction is um, gonna be more adventurous because I feel like you're not being so regimented and routined anymore and so on the bottom of the deck we have release so you've let someone or something go maybe old ideologies thoughts you know because we did see the perspective card so you know seeing things from a different perspective has now allowed you to release some of those um, belief systems you know, that we're not serving your highest good because I do feel like you have grown, you've matured. You know, there's a sense of like elevation, you know, there's a sense of like uh, maturity, evolving, you know. So you're letting go what no longer serves you. You know, you're letting go of and you've let go of people, places, and things. Because I feel like, again, that word enlightenment is, you know, in my mind's eye. So you gained a whole new sense of understanding by merely looking at things from a different vantage point, you know. And I see these three tall trees. And trees represent, like, protection, growth. I do feel like, you know, maybe there were three significant people um, in your life because the trees are like the trees of life, you know, and the roots represent the family. So I do feel like, you know, you had to release some, you know, some family, some friends, people that were near and dear. You had to release them because maybe you didn't feel protected in those connections. Um, right now we have Duke Ellington and his orchestra. This is called Take the A Train. So some of you all may take an A train to go to and from work to travel. Maybe you're on the A train in New York. You know, there's a lot of train systems or wherever you are, you may have an A train. Um, but trains represent movement. So I do feel like this is just saying like, you know, take action. You know, I feel like there is action. There is movement. Um, so what we have here is leadership. And so you all have taken, you know, the reins of your life. You're in control. You're being more assertive. You're speaking your truth. You all are now like utilizing your throat chakra more. Some of you all are speakers. You know, maybe you are um, self-help teachers. Maybe some of you all um, have a YouTube channel where you may uh, be doing like tutorial videos, helping people to um, 
you know, to practice certain things or to do, um, you know, to to learn certain um, information. I do feel like a lot of you are in your power. Um, and that's exactly what this magic is. I felt like you all are um, owning it now. You know, you're not afraid anymore to express yourselves. You're doing so unapologetically because it's a sense of you understanding now that your 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 opinion matters. Your your voice, you know, it's 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 helping. It's you know whatever it is that you are communicating. It is helping others. It's sparking the minds of the people around you. Some of you all are literally like um, healers. You know, you could be shamans. You could be light workers. Um, you could be channelers, clairvoyants. You know, I'm hearing speaking engagements. So maybe some of you all are having, you know, speaking engagements. Maybe some of you are having, um, like you have podcasts. Maybe you're considering that and the divine is saying, absolutely do it. You're considering like creating a podcast to have like deep dives. Maybe some of you all are going to call it that deep dives. You know what I'm saying? Pick up that jewel for somebody out there. That was for someone. But I do feel like you're in your power. You know, I feel like you're in your power. And this is like this expression, this art form makes you feel powerful. You know, and it's because you're utilizing a God-given talent. You are a great orator. You have an ability to articulate your thoughts, you know, and express yourself in a way where uh, people will understand, you know, and they feel, um, they feel this, this loving, nurturing um, vibration from you. But you have become leaders, you are in your power. You're owning your power. That's beautiful. And what we have here is mantra. So remember I was saying a lot of you all may um, you know, be meditating more. Some of those prayers and petitions that you have been sending up into the ethers and calling you know, on your angels to assist you with, they, they're receiving those prayers, petitions. Because I do feel wish fulfillment is you know, coming in for a lot of you, especially with this gratitude. You're giving thanks. And right now we have case, touch me, tease me. So maybe you all have been using, utilizing some time just praying for new love, praying for a divine love, a spiritual union, yang to your yin, yin to your yang. And the divine is absolutely saying like, you know, this wish, it will be fulfilled. That miracle will be granted, you know. And I feel like, you know, many of you had to release the old in order for that to happen. You got to release the old, you got to let go of the past so that the new can come in, so that the new can, you know, enter your life. You got to be receptive. See that? Look at that wise dome. So you've grown wiser. These two owls represent like, to me, two is duality. So it's like shadow, you know, the light in the shadow, you know, everything has like there's a ebb and a flow, you know. You can't have one without the other, so I do feel like there's a sense of balance. You've learned a lot, you know, you've mastered your shadow side, which is why you're now completing the cycle, but you've also, you know, you've become more enlightened, period, because you've been studying, you've been sharpening your sword, you've been, you know, applying what you've learned. The application of knowledge becomes wisdom. So it's like you've learned to navigate you know, some really difficult circumstances and you're now, um, you're now in tune and in touch. I feel there's also this sense of like some form of communication coming in that you could be expecting because the name of this is Touch Me, Teasy, Tease Me by Case. So I do feel like somebody's coming in and, you know, this person is going to be like very touchy-feely. You know, they're going to like to... They're going to like to like play. I feel, I just see somebody like, a, you know, tickling you, y'all kind of tickling and giggling in the, in the bed, you know, just like very fun, light energy, you know. Um, and we got Ostara here on the bottom of the next deck that I will be using to clarify these messages. So you absolutely are the divine feminine, divine masculine. You know, this is like that empress energy. 
And as I said, with that creativity, um, you all are in your power. You know, this empress knows her worth and value, but she also is a, you know, she knows the divinity is her creation. You know, the divinity of that divine feminine is creation. That divine masculine is creation. You know, so many of you definitely are um, seen as very beautiful, very attractive. Maybe somebody feels like you are, you know, you're a tease because they have this strong attraction. They feel this strong chemistry, you know, and they're watching you like in your power, owning your power. Maybe some of you all have YouTube channels or a TikTok channel, Instagram, and they're watching you literally like, you know, just own it. You're owning it. You're in your power. This is so attractive. And whatever you're saying, it's touching them. It's touching their heart. You know, it's it's almost also like it's awakening them. It's activating them. I feel you all are master manifestors, and that's what this magic um, card is about as well. You know how to co-create. You know how to manifest your thoughts into reality. You know how to set your intentions. The seeds that she's planting absolutely will blossom in a and that's why she's abundant. That's why she's prosperous. And I feel like you're creating new ways of thinking. I feel like you have a beautiful connection um, with spirit. That you take time to communicate, to connect, to develop strong relationships. You devote a lot of time, you know, in prayer, in meditation mode. Maybe some of you all are yogis, Reiki healers. Right now we have Wu-Tang Clan. Ain't nothing to fuck with. And so I feel like nobody got anything on you. You know what I'm saying? Like Scorpios, you divine feminine and masculines. Like there's no one that can match your fly. Like literally you're you're really in your power, owning your power. And I'm not just speaking about, few, you know, like physical beauty. I'm speaking about the power that you possess right now. You know, you are very mass, like masterful at your skill set whatever you're doing you know whether this is like i said where you're you know you're you're communicating and exercising your throat chakra you know whatever this is that you do you ain't nothing to fuck with you are absolutely um very powerful and others see that and with this fertility i do feel it has a lot to do with you know an area of business for you whatever line of business i should say that you're in it's like you ain't nothing to fuck with like nobody can fuck with you they can't fuck with your products they can't fuck with your skill set your talent you know it's like you ain't nothing to fuck with this is wu-tang clan so let's see what we got coming in going out going on for scorpios don't back down so this again is powerful it's the energy of power you ain't backing down you ain't falling back you ain't shutting up because you're in your power. You're being assertive. When you know your worth and value, you don't allow anyone to, you know, the opportunity to tell you about you. You know, many of you do need to go outside. We got Cordelia here. Many of you are going outside, which is why you're feeling this sense of connectedness and oneness, wholeness, you know. So divine spirit of love and light. What messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? And we are 38 minutes in, and it's about to be 3838 right about now. So that's 1111. I do feel like you have been manifesting your twin flame soulmate, whether consciously or subconsciously, you're calling them in. Maybe some of you all are, you know, seeing a particular person in your dreams. They're visiting you in your dreams. Or maybe this is someone dreaming about you. But I do feel like this 1111. Um, that just showed up with that 3838. I just feel like you have a twin flame or soulmate or a very strong connection with someone. It could even represent like a past life connection. Um, bottom of the deck, go outside. So yeah, many of you all, you need to go outside. I feel like you can like strengthen something. Um, you know, maybe this will give you some more insight. Maybe you'll see things from, you know, like I said, a different perspective because many of you like are indoors just really working on this craft and you may need to go outside to receive some sort of divine intervention or download. You know, maybe you've been like really working around the clock, you know, um, crafting candles and, 
you know, utilizing your your skill set. And it's like the divine is telling you to, you know, for you to go outside, it's going to give you, you know, maybe some fresh perspective on how to utilize your magic. Maybe somebody um, could be utilizing magic um, to interfere or to manipulate your energy. And I feel like, you know, when you go outside and you're amongst the trees and nature, you may receive that download, like watch them, you know, gives you some sense of um, insight, you know, clarity. I also feel like, you know, there's some fairies here. So you may receive like actual messages when you're around the trees. You know, maybe you all love trees. You have a, like, I feel like you may have an affinity towards trees. Like you may have a favorite tree that you like to sit next to or a favorite type of tree that you, you love. Maybe you love pine trees and you go out and you, you know, you connect the little pine, you co collect the little pine cones that fall from the tree. Or maybe you love magnolias. And so the divine is telling you to go outside because maybe you've been indoors kind of working and crafting too long. And so you need some downtime. You need some time to kind of refresh, rejuvenate, recalibrate, breathe in some good ass prana. Right now we have Jean Grey and this is called Killing Them. So I feel like when you go outside, you know, you'll be able to see clearly because there there's a gray area that you're not able to perceive. You know, there's something you, you, you're not able to pick up on. And we got receptivity. So see that there is, um, you're, you're, it's almost as if like we were about to clarify this card, gratitude. So I do feel like you've been very open to receive from your angels and guides. And I feel like that's why this receptivity is here because, you know, with all these feathers, it, it, it definitely allows, um, it lets me know, excuse me, that you have um, a lot of protection, you know, a lot of divine intervention, a lot of love you know, around you. You're like, there's a fiery wall of protection around you. And I feel like it's because you've been like really working on yourself. And so during this process of working on thyself or healing thyself um, and loving thyself and knowing thyself, there's, you know, this, this sense of gratitude because you've been able to achieve, you know, a level of enlightenment that you may not have had before. And she's like holding her heart chakra. So she's very thankful, humbled, happy, you know. And I feel like, you know, you've been able to receive these blessings because you've been open with receptivity. I feel like you've been open to receive. And I feel like, you know, by you, you being open to receive, you've definitely um, received a lot of, you know, a lot of energy from the divine, a lot of, you know, downloads were able to reach you you were able to pick up on that energy and now this will make you more giving more caring towards others because of the gratitude that you feel you'll want to you know pass that on and we have tiana taylor this is called it could just be love and so yeah you know i feel like when you learn to love thyself you learn to love others, self-care always makes you more attractive. But I feel like that's the first step. You got to love yourselves. And when you go through something traumatic, that's the first step is to heal that self so it's not to, you know, perpetuate, you know, some of the very same behaviors and, and, and um, you know, behaviors that you did to initially get you caught up in the first place. So I feel like loving that self has helped you to kind of like transmute whatever the pain was and now you've turned that pain literally into power you know many of you discovered how powerful you were um, during a nature walk maybe you had some sort of like some sort of download that really like triggered something for you but this is beautiful so why is gratitude here for our beloved Scorpio's divine spirit a love and life why is gratitude here gratitude here thank you spirit i'm only taking the ones that are faced up put these back give the cards a bang bang boogie so look at that so we have medicine woman so this medicine woman is absolutely like 
a high priestess almost. She's very in tune. She's a channeler. She's a psychic. She's a clairvoyant. So you have an ability to, like, as I said, you could pick up on divine downloads when you're out in nature. I feel like you receive communication from your higher self or instruction, like spiritual guidance. And for that, you're, you're thankful, you're grateful, you're humbled. Um, maybe many of you discovered your talent, your gifts. You know, you've been honing those skills. Maybe you love being um, that source of truth because it's helping you um, not only master your craft, but it's also um, giving you the ability to utilize the divine healing power. You are the alchemist. You are the magician. You are a healer, shaman, a light worker. And for that, you're grateful. And I feel like your angels and ancestors, you know, have kind of like, as I said, they're, they've awakened you to this skill set, this talent. That's why they've been protecting you because it's almost, um, it's not almost, it's, you know, this is like your, your, your mission, your soul's mission, your purpose, your power. And I think that with you all, that, that, that you all are receiving like divine downloads. I was picking up the sense that some of you all could be like, you know, you could absolutely be um, telepathic or intuitive. And with this medicine woman sitting right next to silence, I do feel like, you know, when you are, you know, when you are in that space of like meditating, you know, and connecting to your higher self, you do receive a lot of downloads, a lot of downloads. And I feel like, you know, utilizing your throat chakra does have a positive effect on people. We got inner goddess Aphrodite. So you're now moving to the beat of your own drum, as I said, and it's because it's like you, you are practicing self-love, self-care. You know your self-worth. I feel like you've become awakened. You know, like I said, those keys represent, you know, having the keys of knowledge, wisdom, wise dome, and inner standing. And you also are aware of your psychic abilities. You know, you have the ability to kind of like to enter into different dimensions with those keys. And I feel like you are seen as very attractive, very alluring, you know. You have a magnetism. I do feel someone is coming and you're you're you know, both of these feminine energies are kind of looking back. So it says it's almost as if you're expecting someone, which is why you haven't entered into that door as of yet or walked through that door as of yet because you're expecting someone to come on the ride with you 47 47 again so it's like a, a twin flame that 47 47 reduces to 11 11 yet again so it's like you're expecting someone and they're expecting you because i see this dove you know this beautiful bird that represents rebirth so we know that you've gone through major transformation shifts that you've activated elevated ascended grown that you've leveled up and you've learned to navigate you know a lot of emotional situations, a lot of toxic situations, you know, you've learned to take your power to be more assertive, to stand in your power, to be strong, speak your truth, to express yourselves. You've learned to like ground yourselves to, you know, put your needs, wants and desires first, to not self-sabotage, to make sure that you establish a solid foundation for yourself. And so now your expectations are higher, you know, and I feel like someone's coming in See how this bird is like delivering these two wreaths. So it's like somebody wants a victory. And because it was 47, 47, I feel like you're expecting, you know, someone to return. It's like you have this expectation. Remember, you're a medicine woman. So you are having telepathic or intuitive communication com um, conversations with someone. Maybe you're healing another person that could be your twin or your soulmate or your um, soul um, partner. And you're activating them by you healing. You're manifesting this person, obviously. And I feel like you felt someone didn't get you before. But I feel like there's a sense to heal the circumstance. For there to be reconciliation. or and So the name of this song is You Don't Get Me. And this is by myself. Moi. So, yeah, so somebody didn't get you before. They didn't get you. 
And that's why you kept moving. I feel like you was going. You was like growing and glowing, you know, in during the, the pause, during the like I'm I'm, a, I'm hearing intermission. <laughs> so it's almost as if like the divine separated the two of you so you all can work separately. And this could be past life love or someone that you know. And we see this beautiful mother Wa'u, Mawu, excuse me. So again, I was picking up that energy of like you having a very beautiful connection to Mother Gaia being grounded, sense of growth, you know, all that foliage represents life. And so I do feel like you've reincarnated. You've, you know, had this rebirth. A lot of you have slimmed and trimmed down. A lot of you grew your hair out or cut your hair shorter. I do feel like you have a sense of self-love. You know your worth now. And this is what's making you more attractive. And I feel someone's coming back. Someone's returning. And it's the person that didn't get you before. Maybe this person doesn't get why they feel drawn to you, feel this connected, you know, this connection as deeply and as strongly as they do because we see clearly you have income and communication. You know, I feel somebody's going to message you. And I feel, you know, this person does see you as someone very powerful. You know, she's holding like this globe. So it's as if like you've learned to, you know, transmute whatever pain, hurt, and negativity. And you've turned it into something very powerful. You've turned your pain into something magical. You know, just like this magic card did here. And I feel like with this card go outside, maybe you going outside is how you discovered your talents and gifts maybe there was those downloads that came through the divine is is definitely um telling you that you have a very strong connection to mother gaia to mother earth some of you may feel you know stronger feel more powerful you know you may feel like you feel a sense of enlightenment when you're out in nature and it's because you do have a strong connection you have a purpose I feel like some of you all have strong earth uh, placements in your chart, maybe in your moon. I'm feeling strong moon energy. Like maybe some of you all have like Taurus. And that is your opposite side, you know. And that's why I feel like, you know, there was this sense of like balancing, you know, like that yin yang effect, like balancing um, the logical and the emotional aspects of oneself. But you're also very grounded. You're a healer. You're a shaman. You have um, an ability to manifest. You're also very abundant. You know how to, you know, provide for yourself. How to sustain, you know. How to create something out of nothing. Alright, so let's see why adventure is here. Divine Spirit of Love and Light. Why is adventure here for our beloved Scorpios? Why is adventure here for our beloved Scorpios? Thank you, Spirit. See that? Divine passion. So that's where you're going. You're going in the direction that's going to feed and nurture your passion, your desires. There's a burning fire within you. Something's erupting. You know, something's unearthing literally within you. It, within the depths of your soul, you feel this calling, this pull to seek more, to find more, to do more. Because you can't sit complacent any longer, dormant any longer. It's like you want to know what else is out there. You want to know what else the universe has to offer. Because maybe you felt, you know, very, um, very imprisoned in a circumstance. So now you're moving in a whole new direction. And you're following your passions. You're following your truth. You're being honest with yourself, with your needs, with your wants. This is beautiful. Bottom of the deck, it was divine timing. Things happen in divine timing, so every circumstance leads to this. You know, even the trauma, even the drama, even the pain, even the betrayals, even the negativity that happens to you. It was all a part of the master plan, just like my last reading said. It was all a part of this divine master plan that was meant for you to finally take ownership, to take control, to be more assertive. Because I feel like in the past, you were kind of like, you, were, you, you, you weren't in your power. You weren't owning your power. I feel like a sense of like... Um, passive aggressiveness, you know, waiting weeks and months or waiting for things to build up to finally express your truth. That's why Don't Back Down showed up during the pre-shuffle because it's like 
you finally learned to own it. You know, own whatever it was you were feeling. If somebody did you dirty, you didn't let it fist, you know, fester and linger. You addressed it right there and then, you know, because you realize like you are the sole controller of your life, your destiny, and nobody can take the reins and direct you anywhere. You do that. You're the leader. You're the, you are the lioness, the lion. Some of you may have strong uh, fire placements in your chart. And so with this easy does it, I feel like, you know, you didn't, you didn't rush the process along. I feel like, you know, you kind of like let things gradually um, happen, you know, and you was there for it. You wasn't running, you know, from the process. You, you, you owned up to it. You confronted it, you know, and the divine has no acknowledged, you know, the work that you've done and the commitment, the devotion to healing, to growing. And that's why, you know, the divine is like, look, trust in divine timing because you are in this position because you deserve it. You owning it, this Aphrodite energy, inner goddess, you have discovered, like I said, that you are that divine feminine, divine masculine. This is someone who knows her worth, her value. This is someone abundant and successful. This is someone who's a healer, someone nurturing. And so I do feel like you're using your powers for good. You're using your magic, your talents, your skill sets for good. It's to help spark the minds, the souls, the hearts of others. And that's why you will be blissed. And this is something that you, this is like your calling. This is your divine purpose. This is your soul's mission. This is the contract that you sign. This is why you're here. It's to do this good work. And I feel like initially you didn't get it, you know, initially, especially with my song playing, you didn't get it at first, but I feel like this situation and circumstance has, like I said, it's, it's, um, awakened you to the truth. You've, you've become enlightened to that truth. So why is leadership here for Scorpio's divine spirit? Thank you, spirit. Your messages are coming out so flawlessly. Look at that leap of faith. And remember with that adventure and then divine passion, that's what you're doing. You're taking a leap of faith. You're taking risks. You're being more daring. And you're following your heart's desires this time around. Your heart's truest desires, deepest desires. That's beautiful. And so we have, oh man, look at that. Didn't I tell you all to expect a miracle, like a miracle, a blessing? There's a prayer that you've been like literally like, your daily prayers, mantras, affirmations, chants, all of that work you've been doing. Mother Mary has heard it. Your angels, guides have heard it. Universe, source has heard it. Not only did they hear it, they said, look, it will be answered. So whatever you've been praying in good faith, whatever seeds you've been sowing in good faith, they're going to be, they're going to be showered upon you, blissed upon you. There's a wish fulfillment here. There's a miracle that you, something you would never imagine. Some of you all may grow, you know, maybe your channel is going to go viral. Maybe your talent is going to take you international. Remember, I was hearing speaking engagements earlier. So maybe you're going to be like be hired to travel and speak at particular engagements. And this is like your calling. This is something that the divine is assigning you. You know, you're starting to find your voice, you're in your power, you're owning your power. Others are seeing the goddess in you. You know, you are a teacher, you are a healer, a shaman, a light worker. You are the medicine woman, the medicine man. So you have an ability and a gift to channel, you know. Because you are you have this and possess this divine healing power. And this is something that some of you all you know, you, you've been um, really honing. I hear you've been honing this skill. That's why you're holding these keys. You don't just, you know, receive keys when you're, you know, in the beginning stages. I feel like you're truly entering into, you know, this new world. And this purple door would let me know that you are very enlightened. You know, you are very wise. You are, you know, a channeler. You know, a psychic and intuitive. Some of you may have your own YouTube channel, tarot channel, you know, and you have a very unique way in which you read your cards and utilize your talent. 
I feel like this is definitely, um, you know, wish fulfillment for some of you all, like to have this level of um, not only success, but, you know, you're you're in your power, you know, and this is a, a, a natural born gift that you have, a gift that your angels and ancestors have blessed you with. So this is beautiful. I love it. And so right now we have J Electronica, my world. So see that? This is your world. This is your, like, this This makes things so simplistic. It makes your life so, I, I hear, at ease, you know? This is your world. Like, so maybe you're having these speaking engagements. Um, it's like I'm hearing self-help. So maybe you are, you know, helping others through some of their trauma, some of their pain and it's like you know by you you know uh, completing a karmic cycle and lesson which is like the world which means ending a cycle you know it's almost triggered or activated you um, like I said or awakened you is a better word to your power you know so your ending definitely resulted in a brand new beginning a brand new world for you and this is like a miraculous event something that you know you definitely was very uh resilient you know you was very persistent in mastering that craft you know you started maybe some of y'all started off real shy you know not really wanting to speak in front of people and now you find yourself speaking in front of thousands you're packing the house like people are coming to see you speak and even if this isn't like speaking engagements, like in a personal setting or, you know, an um, actual setting, maybe this is, like I said, a podcast of some sort. You know, maybe you are communicating and reaching the hearts and minds and souls of thousands of people virtually. But whatever it is, I feel like you're utilizing your throat chakra. And this is you, you know, realizing the divinity of the divine feminine, that goddess, that God, that king, that queen is you know creation and this is bliss you know the divine is blessing you and it's because you took risks you took a leap of faith you trusted the process you didn't let fear paralyze you you was ad adventurous you know you traveled down you know roads that you didn't you know you didn't um travel before you just took those risks you said hey let me see where this takes me you was more daring And I'm hearing you travel down roads seldom traveled. So it's things that people, other people wouldn't have even taken this risk. But you were divinely, you know, guided to go the way that you did. Whereas other people would have avoided that. But I feel like it's because you was, you was following, you know, that urge, that passion, you know, that, that, um, that desire, you know. So why is mantra here for Scorpios, Divine Spirit? Why is mantra here for our beloved Scorpios? Why is mantra here for our beloved Scorpios, Divine Spirit? Thank you. Bottom of the deck, golden opportunities. Mama Yemenya, beautiful Mama Yemenya. So this is beautiful because there are doors opening up. We got two doors in the reading. So these doors that you're, you know, approaching that are here, they're going to lead to a beautiful golden opportunity for you and these opportunities are things that you have manifested and I feel like you know that you know that and I feel like you are you know as I said you may be taking some time out just to reflect you know because the name of this is my world by J Electronica so I feel like a lot of you are kind of reflecting on the past to gain awareness doing deep dives before you enter into this new junction so as not to bring baggage and all of that negativity into this new phase and stage and my throat chakra is getting blocked and so what we have here is bodies of water so what was i saying about a lot of you all needing to go to like um you know needing to go to you know like the beach going to maybe a lake my throat chakra is getting blocked 
Oh, yet again. Let me get some water. Excuse me. Excuse me. <clears throat> so with this bodies of water, this is a healing element. This is also your element, Scorpios. And the water represents an ability for you to recharge, recalibrate. It's a very healing element. It also allows, allows for you to release, to let go. I do feel like a lot of you feel a sense of connectedness, oneness when you're around water. Many of you may, you know, do those mantras, as I said, pray. You may do um, release ceremonies when you're by bodies of water. But I do feel like for you all, you know, this has definitely led to some sort of recharge or rejuvenation of your spirit just by, you know, this sense of connectedness, like, you know, meditating. And the name of this song is um, Ain't Too Young, and this is by Twist. You know, so I feel like there was a lot of twists and turns in your life, you know, directions that you thought you were going. It was like there was detours, there was blockages, there was U-turns, you know what I'm saying? It was like, you know, ends of road. It was just like there was literally, you know, there was no opening or there was no entryway. But I feel like it was for your own protection, you know, and I'm hearing like, you know, rejection is your protection. It's for your protection. So whoever, you know, may not have wanted you, you know, with I ain't too young now, you know, maybe somebody was acting immature or running from this six, uh, this relationship, maybe that runner chaser, because I kept seeing 1111. And that's usually, you know, the dynamic between twin mates, uh, I said twin mates, <laughs> soul mates or twin flames or, you know, a very divine partnership, there will be that aspect of running, chasing one person will be, you know, ready for the connection, whereas the other person is still fighting it and denying it and, you know, kind of like self-sabotaging and, you know, just self-deceiving themselves. But I feel like for many of you all, you, you didn't give up hope. You know, you remained hopeful. You prayed, you know, and instead of you like staying stuck in a space of victimhood, I feel like you just started to rechannel your energy on, you know, building up your strength and sh building up um, your own confidence you know you started to find your voice communicate more you started to master your crafts and sharpen your sword so to speak you started to study and learn you started to move and dance you started to like evolve and grow and because of that that's why your wishes are being granted you know that's why you're feeling you know because you've like you release what wasn't serving you like I said in the beginning like ideologies belief systems you know, some of the things that were not serving you. You know, maybe a lot of you with this I Ain't Too Young Now, maybe those were like childhood traumas that you had to um, confront, you had to deal with. And that's why there was this sense of you like, you know, kind of reflecting and doing deep dives before you enter in, you know, because she's kind of like, you know, grounding herself before she enters in. She has the keys to access the door so she could go through it at any time. But it's like you just want to get this last bit of work. It's like this last bit of work. And Mama Yemen, y'all, she represents love, family, protection. She protects the family dynamic, the family unit. And so I feel like you all are definitely coming into a beautiful connection because we have, look at this. These are the cards you have in the bottom of the deck. Golden opportunities blossom in peace. So something is blossoming. And you know this because you've planted the seed, the seeds. Which is why you have gratitude. And now you have peace. You know, Irene is telling you there's nothing for you to worry about. So if you all were in a state of like being concerned about when, you know, the timeline. Remember, Unak was telling you, look, things happen in divine timing. You can't stress the process and you can't speed it up either. You just have to trust that everything is happening in divine timing. So look what we have in the bottom of the deck that we're going to use to clarify is treat yourself. You deserve it. And it says self-love is the best love. So what did I say? You all started to show yourselves love, which is why you have gratitude, which is why you have thanks in your heart. You're, you're humbled by the kindness that the divine is showing you. And we have happily ever after by case. So I feel like you have a happily ever after. Look at that. Mama Yemenya showed up again. Love thyself. You have a happily ever after because you've healed thyself and learned to love thyself. 
And this is now going to make you more attractive. And that's why I kept seeing 1111. Because that 1111 is telling me that you do have someone that's coming in that's going to match your fly. That's going to speak your love language. That person will be emotionally intelligent. And it's because of the way that you're treating yourself. Self-care. Remember, you had Aphrodite. And Aphrodite knows that she's a goddess. And she practices self-care. This is through not only physical self-care, like, you know, physically taking care of yourself, but also just taking care of your body, you know, taking care of your mind, your heart, your soul, appreciating your divinity of being a creative, um, you know, a creative. And you're going to have a happily ever after. You're going to have, you know, that happy house, happy spouse dynamic. And I feel like this person is definitely a, is coming in is going to appreciate your beauty, appreciate your gifts, your talents, your skills. So divine spirit of like, well, we let's see what we have coming and going out going on, Father. Scorpios. And I just saw pay attention. God is trying to tell you something. So that's why the divine is telling you to go outside because I feel like that's the best place for you to receive the downloads is being amongst nature. You know, grounding yourself, sit under a tree. I feel like you'll get the download far quicker than just sitting in your house. You gotta go outside. Many of you have a beautiful beautiful redemption happening right now it's like you've redeemed yourselves and that's why there will be blessings there will be rewards financial increase promotion pay increase lucrative business deals i feel like your finances are very you know you know very safe you got financial freedom you have been doing a lot of um shadow work and that's why you are now, you know, coming out of that dark night of the soul, you know, journey more enlightened. You definitely go on an emotional roller coaster ride because you was playing, you know, you was dealing with someone who was playing games, very childish, boyish, you know, girlish energy. Remember, I ain't too young now. So that's what you was kind of like, kind of releasing. You was releasing someone. Remember, you had that release card, you know, so you had to release, you know, these were family, friends, people who were childish, people who were petty. You know, petty labels. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. I'm going to clarify these messages. So selfish, loving myself. See that? Loving me, myself, and I. So that's what you all had to do in order to own your power again, to get your power back, rather, was you had to be selfish. And that's why the boundaries card showed up at the same time, because a lot of you were definitely dealing with somebody who was speaking with a forked tongue. You know, somebody who was definitely deceptive and toyed and played with your emotions, feelings, lied and cheated. But now you're being more selfish, not focusing on the problem. You're only focused on the solution. And the solution was always self-love, discovering your purpose, your passion, taking care of your family, your household. And I feel like you're enjoying that time alone, that solitude. Remember, you had Sanctuary show up with the... Um, Awakened soul deck during the pre-shuffle. So it's like you've created a safe space, a safe haven. And you're not allowing anybody to come in and interrupt that peace that you've created for yourself. You know, you have this sense of tranquility. Right now we have fabulous and this is called leaving you. So that's what you had to do. You had to leave someone behind. You had to leave them. You know, you told someone flat out, I'm leaving you. I'm leaving your ass because I can't do da dun da dun shit. I can't do bird brain shit. You know, if you don't appreciate the love I'm giving you, then I'm going to like, you know, pardon my back because you wasn't putting up with it. So you started to love yourself. You realize you were self-sabotaging and now you're selfless, um, you know, you're self, uh, selfishly um, utilizing um, all of that time and energy you was given to someone else on yourself now. And that's another reason why Aphrodite is here, because she represents, you know, recognizing the inner goddess. You know, and awakening, you know, being awakened to that that inner goddess as well, which is why there's this this focus on self-care and this focus on respect and strength and standing in it and owning it. So somebody was definitely deceptive and you said, I'm leaving you. I can't do I can't do liars. I can't do pathological liars. It's not happening. It doesn't work for me. That's not my love language. Sorry. You know, and when you left, you felt so much gratitude. You started to receive so many blessings, so many divine interventions. And you started to realize like, damn, that person was totally like blocking my blessings, my happiness, my peace. They brought a lot of negativity into your lives. And I feel like the Modi, see that? 
You ain't got to lie. And the moment you blocked that ass is the moment you started to see things change. Started to see the shifts. And you also remember enlightenment. You gained a lot of um, clarity, you know, from, you know, dealing with somebody like that. He was dealing with somebody who was very immature, young. Only a child lies. Like, children lie. Adults don't. So that just shows you just how immature of the person you was dealing with. But you block that ass. It's like block a block a block. I think it's not that you will not have me on no fucking emotional roller coaster rides. Remember that card showed up too. So why is um gratitude and medicine woman here for our beloved Scorpios? Divine spirit, thank you. See that? You radiate love and light. Shine bright. This is what you started to realize about yourself. Like, I'm dope. And I deserve somebody that sees the dopeness that is in me. Because I can see it. That's when you started to believe in your own self. Started to believe in your own abilities. But the moment you walked away from that person is the moment that your light started to shine brighter. Because as I said before, they was dimming your light and blocking your blessings. They was also dimming you, um, blocking you from, you know, like accessing, you know, your, your, your spiritual gifts. Because you had like an energy vampire around you. You know, somebody that was stealing your thunder. You know, riding your coattail. And right now we have Jay Dilla featuring Mad Lib and um, Guilty Simpson. And this is called Baby. And so I feel like for many of you all, you know, you started to um, you started to focus on loving yourselves. You started to focus on your children, your babies. You know, I also feel like, you know, the divine was carrying you. You felt very loved and protected by the divine. You know, there's a um, there's a prayer where it's like, you know, one of the one of the um, one of the prophets or one of the um, tribesmen were, you know, inquiring about why whenever, you know, they were going through difficult times, you know, they they would only see one set of footsteps in the sand on the beach. You know, um, I know I'm saying it wrong. I'm butchering it. But it was like, you know, the divine responded like the only reason why you saw those one set um, set of footsteps is because I was carrying you. So it's like for many of you all, you realize like, wow, the divine was carrying me. And this is called baby. So it's like they, they, they definitely were protecting you. And I hear, you know, baby, I feel like they were protecting you, carrying you, you know, covering you from the negativity. Because as you can see, there's feathers all around this person. So there's like divine protection divine protection and and you're radiating love and light because i feel like you started to acknowledge within yourself you know that you are you know a beautiful beautiful gifted person and and you ought to be around others that can either accentuate that you know or you know help you to you know, to elevate, you know, you don't want anybody to snuff out, you know, or to blot out your light, you know, and I feel like you, you started to realize that you were actually very dope and, and you're radiating love and light. So that does make you um, start to attract more into your life, listens, opportunities, people start meeting your soul tribe. You start meeting, you know, the very things that are divinely meant for you that was being blocked because you had, you know, some really unsavory and um, negative toxic energy around you uh, but I feel like you start to realize like wow you know you're, you're like somebody's wish fulfillment as well as I said you know you are in the spotlight apparently um, you utilizing your throat chakra and someone is watching um, you utilize your throat chakra and they feel a sense of divine healing power emanating from you you know it's like emitting from you this divine healing power that you have i feel you're also very gracious and thankful you're very humbled in this gift like you're not like running around braggadocious and and you know airheaded and big-headed like you know even if you do have a platform that may have like over twenty thousand hundred thousand subscribers two hundred thousand subscribers you're like very humble you know because you're 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 like very um I feel you're responsible with this gift that you know the divine has imparted to you. And the only reason this gift has been imparted um, or granted to you, I should say, is because you've mastered something. Every great healer had to first heal themselves. 
And so that's what awakened you to your skill set and talents. But you radiate love and light. So I do feel like you are now receiving a reception from those um, that you are sharing these gifts and talents with. You're receiving a positive reception. While on the flip side of that, someone is struggling with remorse, regret, shame. They know the part that they played because, as I said, you're not only activating those that are members of your soul tribe and soul family. You also trigger the ones that did you dirty. So these people have remorse. They're now seeing the error in their ways, something that they couldn't see before because they didn't take accountability. So maybe now there's some sort of downloads. They're starting to realize by you setting boundaries, you know, that maybe they took it too far. Maybe they did you a little, you know, they did you wrong, you know, and they should not have um, taken that step. So um, what do we have now? What is this? So we have Tiana, um Taylor ever, ever. So, yeah, so, you know, they thought you was going to be their forever, ever person. I always use that term, but I get that from like outcast forever, forever, ever, 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 you know, but, um, but yeah, you, you, you know, I feel like for many of you all, you, you definitely, um, thought that you was going to be with somebody forever, ever, <laughs> you know, you thought that that connection was definitely going to result. Like I said, um, previously in former readings, like, you know, that was going to be your end all be all like this was going to be the person, you know, y'all were going to get married because some of you all may have been engaged and the engagement just kind of fizzle out, you know, um, I feel like if some of you all lost your rings, like you may have thought you lost the ring. I feel like that person took it and pawned it in. That's for somebody specific. I just, I don't know why that came up, but for some of you all, if you had an engagement ring by somebody and one day it just disappeared and you was kicking yourself and beating yourself up because you thought you lost it. Um, and even the person may have responded like, damn, I bought you a ring and, and you done lost the ring. How the fuck you lose a ring and I bought it for you don't care about me. They could have flipped the script, but I'm here. I just received the download just now in my mind. I heard like they took that ring and they pawned it, you know, they pawned the ring. So that's for someone specific. And now there's reg re regret and remorse. Um, so let's get this message. Why is, um, why is silence? And uh, Aphrodite here for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit of love and light. Why is silence and Aphrodite here? So, first card I saw in the upright, we have they're tuning into your channel, um, social media, driving by your house, uh, looking at your pics, looking at old pics, obsessed, secret admirer, stalker alert. So, what did I say about you having somebody? Remember that bird to me was representing someone from your past, your past one in a return. And they're carrying these wreaths, so it's like they want to come back and, and right or wrong. Somebody's definitely watching you, secret admirer. I feel like you already noticed because, as I said, highly intuitive. You know, you have the keys. Maybe you're waiting for this person, expecting this person, anticipating someone's return. Um, this is definitely not no toxic ass ex. This could be somebody that you may have had a connection with, a chemistry, um, you know, a very beautiful um you know, a very beautiful chemistry with this person or connection with this person. But like I said, that runner chaser, somebody was trying to deny the connection, whereas the other person may have known, you know, when you met that person, you probably felt like this is my person. You got all tingly inside, butterflies, all of that. And it was like you always knew that was your person. And I feel like that person was fighting the connection. And with this forever, ever, I do feel like, you know, this connection is something that could last for a lifetime. Like this may be your divine masculine or feminine. This may even be a past life love, which is why you felt that initial um, chemistry in the beginning. They are now um, awakening, I feel, uh, because you've activated them in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And I feel like, as I said before, it's like you're waiting for them. Before you enter into this new junction, this new phase, this new chapter, it's like you're waiting for someone to join you. You know, that's why you're looking back, you know, and maybe there's a lot of communication um, telepathically via your dreams, intuitively, you're sensing them coming and returning. Because as I said, this bird, this is like birds represent, um, you know, like uh, communication. So there is a message. And because he's carrying these reeds, I feel like it's it's like there's going to be some sort of breakthrough um, communicatively. Um, and I feel like this person can't fight their attraction. Um, any longer they're they're kind of like a secret admirer now they've turned into your you're like your biggest fan almost um so let's see what else we got these cards i'm not taking because they're face down i'm gonna put those back in 
give it a give it a nice little bang bang boogie on the bottom of the deck we got words of spells and spells bind mind your words so maybe some of you all were kind of like um you know dealing with somebody who was like a you know just kind of pessimistic you know saying a lot of things like i can't do this or i can't do that and um I feel like for you all that that wasn't like a part of your speech, you know, just like I was picking up earlier is like, you know, because your home is your safe haven, because you've created such a protective space, a protective bubble. Um, you don't do the Debbie Downer talk. You don't do the, the negative Nancy talk like you don't talk um, negatively because you know the power of your words. So whenever you speak, you speak the I am, I can, I have, I will. You don't speak the I can't. I don't know. You don't speak that way. So to you, it was like it was a very pessimistic energy. And so maybe that's what that person, you know, had to um, break free from, you know, and it was like you was giving them a moment to get their shit together, <laughs> you know, because this silence it's like you, you know, you was like, OK, go ahead, beloved. You go you go do your work. You go heal. You go grow. You go learn. And um, when you're ready for me, I'll be here waiting. And so now it's like they coming, you know. Because both of these women, remember, they're both like looking backwards. So it's like it, it, you're you already know they're coming. You can feel it. You can sense it. You're the you're the high priestess. You're very psychic. So it's like you're preparing. You, it's like you're expecting this. You already know they're watching. So you give them something to watch. You're giving them something to um, you know, because it's like you you you're dropping jewels and gems for them, you know, and it's and you're activating them and triggering them. You're like. You're, you're shining very bright. You're like a, a, a bright light. You're illuminating them to the truth. And it's because you have divine healing power. So you're not only helping to heal people who you have attracted in terms of your soul tribe, soul family on your platforms, but you're also attracting and activating um, or triggering and activating the people that did you dirty as well. That's why they were feeling remorse and shame and regret because they saw the role they played and the dismantling or the demise of the connection and friendship with you. It's not what you think. And it says further investigation needed. So that's what you're going to do. You know, you're like, look, I know life doesn't have to be this bland. You know, it's like, I know that I enjoy other things, you know. And so now you're going to investigate what those things are. You know, you're not going to allow the fears to paralyze you anymore. Maybe this is things that were told to you. Maybe these were certain um you know, things you were told during your very impressionable childhood years, developmental years, like, oh, you can't do this because this will happen. And so it's like you had to break the chains, break those, you know, those chains from your mind because there was a calling, there was a nudging, there was an, there was this like this eruption within you that was telling you like, look, just do it, you know. And so now you're going, you're going after your dreams fearlessly. Regardless of what was said, because it says it's not what you what you think further investigation needed. So if somebody is like mind fucking you and, you know, kind of and maybe they were doing it in good faith. Maybe, you know, like I said, if this is like your, you know, during childhood, maybe there were certain belief systems um, that could have been passed down through generations. And so that was just the conversations that you would stumble upon is like, oh, you can't do this because this will happen or we don't ever get to do this because this happened. It's like you had to unlearn all of that shit. And you said, you know what? I'm going to see for myself if that's the outcome, you know? And if it doesn't work, fine. But I'm going to go find. I'm going to go see. I'm going to go investigate on my own. And so you're now like answering the calls and stirrings, you know, of your own heart, you know, because there's a passion here. So words of spells and spells bind. That could have been all the naysayers, as I said, people telling you what you can't do. People telling you what's not going to happen. People just being negative because they are fearful, because they don't believe in their own abilities. They're projecting, you know, their own insecurities onto you, their own fears onto you. Maybe something didn't work for them, but that doesn't mean it's not going to work for you, you know. And so you're now ready and willing and able to go and walk through the door to the unknown. You know, because you have this sense of power. You know you create your reality. You know if you set your intentions that positive things can happen because that's how you have, you know, recreated yourselves. You know, reinvented yourselves to think. And so right now we have the Motown, the Temptations. Have you seen her? So somebody definitely is looking for you as we see somebody's, you know, have you seen her? 
playing and the temptation. So they got these temptations, these feelings. You know, this is something that they was trying to repress and suppress. And they was trying to deceive themselves. They didn't feel those feelings. And now they want to know, like, where are you? They're searching. And, and they're going to stumble upon you in your power, being this fierce leader, this fierce lioness. You know, you've taken control of your own subconscious mind. You're not letting anybody gaslight you. Words of spells and spells bind. So with this, you're breaking spells. You know, you're using your, your tongue as a, a, a positive weapon to un to break people free from the illusions and the delusions, you know? And the divine is rewarding you because you're using your powers for good. Because as the magician, you could either do dark magic or light magic. You could be in love or in light, or you can be, you know, radiating in that dark energy where you're trying to, you know, cast spells on people to bind them and block them from happiness. And that's not what you're doing. You're breaking people free from that shit, you know? So why is um, leadership and expect a miracle here, Mother Mary? See that? Karma Dharma. You reap what you sow. Didn't I say that in the beginning of the reading? And it says sowing in good faith. You literally are receiving good karma because of the good deeds. You cannot make this shit up. And didn't I say you are attracting somebody who will be emotionally intelligent? I feel this also are all the characteristics and attributes that you possess. So that being that you possess this... And because you have, um, you've been compassionate towards others, I feel like now you're receiving good karma. That's why Mother Mary is telling you that you're going to receive a miracle, a blessing. And this is because you have used your powers for good. You've taken your power back. You're utilizing your throat chakra or your talents, your gifts, your skills in a positive way and you're helping to spark the minds, souls, hearts of everyone around you. This is beautiful, man. This is what happens when you do good. Mama Ma'at sees all. She knows everybody's address and that's why you're receiving good karma. The sirens are going by so that's confirmation for someone. You're also manifesting a lover, you know, a divine masculine, a divine feminine that will have all of these attributes. Your former person, they were emotionally retarded. They didn't have that ability or the capacity to love you the way that you deserved. And so I feel like that's why you felt the sense of gratitude because you learned self-love. Not only is it most important, but that's what makes you more attractive. And I feel because you took the necessary time to get to know you better, to get to know your likes, your wants, your desires, to get to know what does not work for you. That's why you're now coming into all of this these blessings, all of this amazing opportunities, this expansion, this joy, peace, and happiness. I feel someone is coming in and your angels and guides are saying, look, expect a miracle. Because everything that you have prayed for and asked for and hoped for during the times of you doing meditation, during those times of you doing deep dives, going into hibernation, unplugging from the outside world, disconnecting from the outside world, taking those necessary times to go out in nature to connect with your higher selves. I feel like your Christ consciousness opened up. And that's what led you out of that dark, that darkness where you were like kind of engulfed in the negativity, dealing with someone who was just toxic as hell that broke you free remember i'm leaving you it was playing by fabulous and you made that that you had that epiphany that it was it was very it was very critical for you to leave someone because they were not serving your highest good they did not have your best interest at heart and so now we see here you're attracting someone who will be emotionally intelligent somebody that will speak your love language scorpios somebody that you won't have to explain the most obvious to They'll just understand you on a soul level because the love that the, that the two of you share is so deep. And this person is already watching you. They've been kind of searching you, like like searching for you, maybe doing Google searches, you know, punching in your name and then your, your information is punch, uh, popping up. But this person is definitely like, you're, you're not expecting this. You know, this could be, like I said, a past life love or somebody you could have been acquainted with in your past. Maybe someone you worked with or someone you grew up with in the past. Somebody that's an old friend, you know. See that? What did I say? Breaking generational curses. 
breaking generational curses, hexes, yokes, karmic cords. Your your powerful and un um and what does this say? Your power. I can't even read my own. Okay, you're powerful and owning it. Congratulations. That's what it says. So see that? And these cards are going back in. Put these back in. Oh, that's powerful. That's what you was breaking free from. Look at these cards. Pay attention. God is trying to tell you something. Black backstabbing, plotting, scheming, scamming. See that card? Backstabbing, plotting, scheming, scamming. And then we have mirror reflect. So that's the shadow work. And then we have frenemies. And so what did I say about this here? You had to break free from that. Because all of that shit was an illusion, a delusion. Many of you all was praying to your ancestors, your spirit team. And trust, they saw everything. But you returned back to self. You know what I'm saying? When you cut off what doesn't serve you, you can now kind of like recharge, recalibrate. But this is you releasing, letting go, purging, clean, clearing, and cleansing your energy, purifying your energy. And that's what led to you breaking free. Many of you all took spiritual baths. Many of you all started to smudge and mop your floors with Florida water. You started to, you know, meditate more to connect to your higher self, to Christ consciousness. And the more you did that, the more downloads you received, the more triggers, you know, started to take place. You started to have like divine intervention. You started to have synchronized events take place. And I feel like the prayers, the petitions, just you speaking those positive affirmations definitely brought some sort of blessing into your life. But you have successfully broken a yoke. You've broken a curse. And this could have been something generational, something on your bloodline. But you broke free from this. And that's why you're being congratulated and being rewarded with a miracle. And I feel the miracle is coming in the guise of a new love, in the guise of success, uh, prosperity, expansion. I see things expanding. So the apartment you're in, you're going to get about two more bedrooms, three more bedrooms. If you have a car that's like, you know, giving you issues, I, feel, I see you getting a new car. I see newness. I see the old being replaced. And it's being replaced because you have transformed. You have gone through a major, major change. And you have, you've like literally like the divine, your angel, they're pleased with you. They're impressed. And they're granting you some wishes. There's wish fulfillment here. And they're releasing you for something, from something that was keeping you bound and stuck and, and, um, trying to block the blessings that the divine has always wanted to shower you with. And here we see where your protective jewelry, amulets, ward off the evil that lurks. So you do have a lot of negativity, you know, that's really, and I'm hearing envy. It's like envious. Because remember, not only do you have a secret admirer, but you also have someone obsessed. You also have people stalking your life. And I was picking up earlier that there was a lot of people, you know, that was very, you know, focused on what y'all was doing. You know, very much like minding your business and not their own. And maybe if they spent more time minding their own business, they would see some movement in their lives. You know, but this is like they're obsessed with you because they didn't anticipate you having this level of success, this level of self-control. They didn't anticipate you being in your power, you know, discovering your worth, your value. And now, you know, you're in a field that you may have mentioned before, like, I'm going to be this or I'm going to do this. Maybe when you first met them, those were the conversations you all were having. And as you were in that relationship, you know, they just kind of sucked the life out of you. And so you couldn't, you didn't even have the strength or even the, the desire to go after your dreams because it was like they were energy vampires and they made you doubt yourself, question yourself. They made you feel, you know, like, um, a sense of like, um, low self-esteem, incompetence, but now that they're gone, it's like you're radiating this love and light, you're shining, you're discovering your purpose, you're attracting things, you know your worth and value, and you're not only drawing their attention, because obviously they're obsessed and possessive, but you're drawing the attention of others. You're meeting your actual soul tribe, your soul family, and they see you're a master manifester, you're in your power. You are co-creating with source. You're creating the potions and elixirs to life. You know how to utilize utilize the elements around you. And you also are, you know, like you, you have the characteristics and attributes of all of the queens and all of the kings. So when you master thyself, 
you know how to utilize those powers in a positive way. And that's what they see here. So this is beautiful. I love this. Let me see. Do I want to get this message? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to use this. We're going to use this. I'm not feeling dark energy. I don't want to chime in on that. And I don't want to chime in on anything over-sexualized with uh, sexual tarot. So we got that. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles. I can't make this up. You have a blessing. This is the divine rewarding you. Remember, expect the miracle. So this is like new opportunities, finances, growth, abundance, success, prosperity, wealth. This is uh, stability, security, expansion, investments. And we have um, Branford Mar Marcellus, and this is called um, Roused About. So, yeah, there's, there's definitely, you know, this beautiful energy here. You're going to be able to expand more. You know, you're going to be able to, because I, like I was picking up, you know, like if whatever, wherever you are now, it's like just imagine yourself in something twice as twice as big, you know, in terms of like an apartment, if you have an apartment, you know, and it's like a two bedroom, three bedroom, just imagine yourselves expanding to, you know, something larger, like a, a four or five bedroom, because that's how the, the flow of income of wealth of abundance is going to come. It's, it's like, you're going to have an infinite supply. Remember you had Eileen, uh, Irene say, you know, peace, there's no need to worry. And it's because you've eliminated, you've released anything that could potentially block out the negativity for you. But I feel like there's wish fulfillment here. You've manifested these new beginnings, these blossom, you know, this, this, um, this blossoming effects. Look at this chariot. This is about being assertive, going after what you want, you know, being fearless, being resilient. This is also like a definite yes. Something that you're going after is absolutely, um, it's going to pan out for you. The name of this is you, um, I Got You Open, and this is called Black Moon. You know, so yeah, you, you definitely, um, there's like, you know, the roads are opening up for you. I feel like Baba Ogun, I'm getting a sense that Baba Ogun is like opening the road, the pathway. Uh, I'm also hearing Baba Alegua. It's like there's opportunities opening up. And I feel like it's because you learned that, you know, self-love is more attractive. But there's definitely victories um, ahead for you, you know. And we got the Knight of Swords, so there could be some unexpected communication. Somebody's like trying to come in, you know, and with I got you open, you know, maybe this person is going to come in and try to, you know, get you wide open. They're going to like say a lot of things and you got to use discernment. We got the Five of Cups here along with the, um, you know, the, the uh, Ace of Pentacles. So there is a lot of regret and remorse. But I do feel like you walked away from something, you know, for a long time. You could have you could have mourned the, the loss of a love, mourned the loss of something, you know. But I feel like now, you know, you're learning to love yourselves. You was waiting a long time for someone to come in and shower you, you know, with the love, the care, the tenderness. And you, it just simply didn't happen. I feel like there was a lot of um, competition. Maybe there was other people in the picture. You may have discovered that someone was giving their cup of love to other people while your cup um, was like, you know, completely empty. And so this led to you kind of like, you know, being more selfish. You know, you was given to somebody that was just a taker and not someone who would replenish. And I feel through you, you know, taking that time to connect with the universe, with source, to go outside and take those walks, to ground yourselves. I feel like that's where, you know, the download came to be more selfish opposed to being so selfless, selfless. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on. We're going to clarify these messages. So look at that. Queen of Cups. Can't make this up. In your power. First card out. This is you. Self-love makes you more attractive. Selfish loving me. Doesn't that make sense? Selfish loving me, myself, and I. And enjoying getting to know me better. So this is why you had to go outside. Because that's why and how the downloads came to light. Like you realize like that something simply wasn't right you know, it, it's just like intuitively you knew this, intuitively, um, you know, because we have this eight of cups on the bottom of the deck. So you was just giving your cup of love to someone who was keeping you feeling like emotionally bankrupt. And so as you started to like do your due diligence to go outside, I feel like, you know, the love that you weren't feeling from the person started to be replenished within yourself. You started to realize like self-love makes you more attractive. And the strongest thing you could do is walk away from someone who's mistreating you. And this person that she was dealing with was definitely 
um, an energy vampire because we see here this knight of wand. So you was given to somebody, first of all, he got his back turned to your ass. So he wasn't appreciating, he wasn't accepting it. This was somebody who was trying to steal your light, your thunder. You see the same stance where you're standing at this podium. So you were like kind of focusing on this person and not on your, your abilities, your gifts, your talents. This person wasn't invested. They was flighty in and out, you know, playing a lot of games, toying with your emotions. This person was definitely a snake. And I feel like, you know, this person helped you to evolve. I feel like you had to cut the head off of that snake in order for you to see. And once you did that, look at this, the nine of pentacles, pre-emperor status, pre-emperor status. So you started to plant your own seeds and roots. And that's why the divine said, the divine said look, karma dharma, you reap what you sow. So you stopped focusing on that person and you started to focus on your own stability, your own happiness. You started to master your crafts. You kept your eyes on your prize and you didn't allow yourself to get distracted. And so this is you working hard. You know, really, really um, being resilient. And it looks like he's sewing also, whatever he's doing up there at the top. But this is you being in a very studious energy, like really honing your skills. And that's what led to you moving forward. But this is you in your power. So healing thyself. What does that do? That helps you to learn to love thyself. So now you have a more profound understanding of what self-love is, feels like. You realize what love is supposed to feel like. And the love that you give yourself is the love that you're now requiring from others. Because that's what love is supposed to do. And now we have um, Michelle and Dale Cello, and this is called body. So you started to protect your mind, your body, your soul. Some of you all realized that your body was in fact your temple. And so you, was, you, you stopped engaging in um, sexual activities. You turned, um, you know, you just became celibate. But I feel like this now, you're in your power. Look at that big old smile on her face. Self-love makes you more attractive. You're also very happy. And that's why it says here, and enjoying getting to know me better. So you're enjoying being single. You're enjoying your solitude. You're enjoying, you know, this journey that you've been on because you're realizing your gifts and talents. She's looking directly at the gratitude medicine woman and you radiate love and light. And so you realize you had to go through that. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That's, this was a part of your destiny. This was a part of the master plan, God's master plan. By you being treated like an option, you know, somebody trying to treat you like second fiddle, you had to stand up and say, no, uh, I absolutely am not nobody's fucking second fiddle. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. And when you said that, that's when you broke free from the illusion and you started to tap in to who you were, your power. So why is gratitude, medicine woman, you radiate love and light here for our beloved Scorpios. And then we're going to wrap it up. All right. This is a long, see that? Ten, ten of wands. So giving and giving and giving, never receiving. Somebody not appreciating you. But look what this did. This brought you truth, clarity. This brought you to a space of not only becoming wiser but it also helped you to realize like you have to unburden this circumstance you cannot carry anybody on your shoulders any longer if somebody is not going to meet you halfway if they're not going to you know you know put in what you're putting into the connection then you simply cannot deal with it i feel like you finally said enough is enough this ten of wands speaks to you know carrying not only your own burdens but someone else's burdens and I feel like this person was definitely, um, they was definitely painting a lot of illusions and delusions. But I feel like something unexpected may have taken place. And um, I feel like it was just the divine, man. The divine was giving you a lot of downloads, kind of giving you hints. You know, maybe some of you all were seeing owls or hearing owls hooing outside of your window. And that represented some major change and transformation. And it's just like, it's because you were, you know, being prepared for this divine purpose. Remember, you had spiritual career come out in the former reading. So you absolutely are healer, shaman's lightworks. I feel like you're also appreciating the journey. You're not afraid or upset anymore from the experiences you went through for some of you all. Most of you all, I should say. Some of you are still getting through that initial pain and hurt, still questioning why, how. But I feel like for the majority of Scorpios, you understand the process. You know, pressure busts pipes, but it also creates diamonds. And you realize that you going through this is what sparked your 
um, deeper understanding of your life's purpose, your soul's mission, of your divine gifts. And I feel like, you know, you took that ten of wands and you said, bye, pardon my back. As I said, I'm leaving you because there was this, oh, you know, this, this light. And now you are definitely taking that ace because that ten of wands reduces to one, which becomes the ace of wands. And you're, you're venturing off into this brand new beginning. And right now we have floretry and they're singing fun. And so with fun, that's what you're, you're seeking now. Remember, you know, this adventure is here. So you're seeking more fun. You don't want to be in a relationship where it's like you walking on fucking eggshells with somebody because they bound to blow the fuck up at any waking moment. It's just like, who the fuck wants to be around somebody that's like a goddamn correction officer? Like they fucking manning you and, and dictating to you what you can do. Even on this card, you can see here at the top, it's like this man is bent down and looking up to this person. It's like they wanted you to, to obey. It's like, obey me, bend down and praise me. Like, who the fuck are you? So this was burdensome. And you said, I'm done with that shit. This person like sucked the life out of life and shit. You know, they just sucked the life out of life. And so here, the three of wands, this is you getting ready, set, go. Like the three of wands reminds me of that ready, set, go. So this is you like, you know, you're manifesting something new. You know, it's like you're preparing for something, you know, because this, this ace of wands, you're moving forward, you're taking action. And you like here with this um, silence card, you're, you're like, you're, you're silently print, like planning, you know, your, your out, your exit strategy, you know. And I feel like you're now in your power. So you're you're naturally attracting everything, everyone that you want to you. And you have a lot of people. Maybe something you've been manifesting, you, you feel it approaching. This is like that heavy manifestation energy, the three of wands. Somebody's, you know, you see this horse is rushing in. So it's like somebody's rushing in towards you. They're taking action to come towards you. Why is the uh, silence card Aphrodite? They find you very attractive. They can't keep their eyes off you. They can't stop watching you. They love your voice. They love you the way you express yourself and communicate yourself. So we got this not, um, this king of wands. So this is someone who's um, very much a go-getter. They're very confident. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody who you know is very... Um, because I feel like, you know, as I said, this is somebody who could have been, you know, I'm trying to get the words. This person is fearless. They go after what they want. So you are attracting somebody. You know, the King of Wands is very um, passionate, you know, very passionate person. So I do feel like there's a sense of like strong attraction, you know, that you are attracting a lot of attention. Um you know, whatever it is you're doing, I do feel like, you know, you will be very successful. Maybe somebody is seeing you uh, in your power, you know, communicating, expressing yourselves, um, channeling this this very powerful um, goddess energy or God energy, you know, and whatever it is you're doing, it's like you're, you're like very skilled. It's, it's like it's growing. It's evolving. There's a lot of like the same foliage that's around this feminine is around the masculine and so it's almost as if you're anticipating someone um, to come in or maybe this is just you know you looking back in awareness at the person which led you on this journey maybe you was dealing with somebody who could have been you know because the king of wands could be like that player also they're not the type to settle down they have a wandering eye um, and maybe that's that person that could be like you know really kind of stalking you obsessively um, but I do feel like you know if that is someone who could have been in your past um they're watching you now have this sense of self-love being more selfish this definitely goes with the energy of selfish loving myself because we saw with the eight of cups that you already walked away the nine of cups is you focusing on self-love healing thyself loving thyself nurturing thyself and so with this card here this is clarifying the adventure divine passion and it's not what you think further investigation needed and so she's standing in this water this is almost like you know that star energy because she's completely naked so it's like you it required a whole lot of healing and I feel like you was treated cold you was left out in the cold you was abandoned but you've healed you know and you've turned your vulnerabilities into a superpower but I also feel like you've learned to you know like to like utilize whatever the pain 
you know, whatever the negativity was that you experienced in some of those relationships, you've learned the art of like channeling that energy or transmuting that energy and turning it into something more magical, something more powerful. And I feel like, you know, that's what's leading you. My throat's getting blocked again. That's what's leading to you um, ultimately, you know, seeking more adventure, you know, following your true desires because you feel like this person, you know, was not like whoever this is because it's like they're trying to hold on to you. He's trying to like get her, but he's got this snake. So it was like somebody was like they had some sort of addictions or some sort of like incubus, succubus energy blocking them from you because I do feel like there's some interference and this is, you know, this feminine here. This almost reminds me of like Ye Mama Yemenya. So it's almost like Mama Yemenya was like kind of protecting you from someone or something. And we have Brandy best friend. So maybe some of you all had a best friend that was really a snake. And Mama Yemenya was protecting you from that person. And that's why they were telling you to be selfish. Because maybe in the past she was very selfless, giving, giving, giving. And this person wasn't doing nothing but taking. And so I feel like now... Uh, many of you are l literally focusing on, you know, what your heart truest desires are opposed to trying to appease and please other people around you um, and help everybody. I feel like now you're on this new voyage, this new venture. You don't know where it's going to take you, um, but I feel like you're willing to, you know, go and see for yourself, investigate um, for yourselves um, because there's a calling. I feel like there's this nudge, this pull um, into, you know, in this particular direction. Um, and with this, you know, King of Wands right next to it, I feel like you're taking your power back. We got the King of Pentacles here. So you are definitely attracting someone who's going to be very devoted, very caring, very loving, very supportive. This this King of Pentacles is like, they got the Midas touch. Everything they touch, it turns to gold. Uh, but this person will be very supportive. Maybe this is speaking to you, being very successful in this new spiritual career where you're, you know, having these speaking engagements or standing on your podium or standing on your square or helping others or, you know, just doing self-care um, or um, not self-care, but you're doing like um, um, you're, you're just promoting self-love, you know, whatever your message is, whatever you're communicating um, is, is really encouraging the the listening audience to to love themselves and i feel because of that you're receiving good karma and you're also you know attracting someone who's going to love you right be supportive of whatever it is you're doing this person is very financially set so this will be someone who will be willing to like invest in your dreams you know invest in you because they see like your worth they see your your talent they see you as a star they believe in you they believe in your gifts your abilities this could also be like you know a new opportunity finding itself to you uh you know like whatever you've been reaping it's it's definitely going to um you know result in this miracle so why is leadership expect a miracle karma dharma you reap what you sow here so see that seven of swords. So this is you doing that shadow work, you know, and by you not resulting um, in, you know, uh, you know, kind of like coming off your 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 throne, stepping down from your throne to address the peasantry, the negativity. It's like you used your wise dome and you knew that there was uh, some deception around you. The people who deceived you are also going to meet their karma. Um, they're going to reap what they sowed as well. So whoever was throwing shit at you, whether through means of hexes, spells, curses, whoever was speaking negatively about you, um, whatever that evil was that was trying to like block your blessings, um, they're now going to receive their karma because this is deception. I feel like you took your power back from some really negative individuals. These were people who were wearing a mask the entire time. And for a long time, it kind of like, you know, it, it, it had you confused. You know, you were kind of like a little confused, taken aback. And um, But I feel like right now, you know, in your power, you see exactly what was going on. There's a lion here and then the lion is on this card. So the lion on the leadership role is speaking to you, taking your power back. And because you took your power back and remained integral, that's why now you're receiving good karma. Whereas those who was like trying to plot and plan, scheme and scam. Remember that card was on the bottom of um, the deck as well, of my deck. 
you have people you know plotting and scheming they're going to receive their karma you got a lot of people you know you got four people here um you know that are literally sitting around um you know having these fucking round table discussions on how to like you know blot you out how to take you out snuff you out um how to you know sabotage something that you're doing and um you know we have uh it's called it's just begun and this is by curtis blow uh presents the history of raps so it's something that you have just started so maybe we see you know you've just started this new single you know you're like newly single and so now somebody is like you know upset you know that you are having some level of success you you have this sense of confidence things are kind of improving in your lives not kind of things are improving in your lives and you seem to be happier um you're getting a lot of attention you're getting rewarded there's just like this newness and somebody's like really um trying to figure out how to sabotage something you're doing but with karma dharma they're now they're going to receive uh, their karma. Um, you know, what you put out, you get back. So whatever it is they're planning for you, they're going to fall on that same sword, um, you know, that they're trying to use to take you out and snuff you out. And I feel like that's what the divine is saying. Expect a miracle because something that you don't even expect um, is happening for you. And look at that, the world. And remember the world um, was uh, the world. I forgot um, if this world were mine was playing by Luther Vandross. And um, so you definitely have learned to, you know, navigate a lot of like toxic and, and un, you know, savory type of connections and dynamics. But you've learned a lot. You've mastered thyself. You've definitely sharpened your sword. Um, you also learned how to tame those those snakes, you know, because you realize like, you know, the snakes represent change. And these individuals coming into your life definitely sparked a change within you. So as I said, you've kind of like turned you know, whatever negative intention they had for you into something powerful. And that's why you're here in your power. Like, you know, you're mastering the waters. This is like, you know, self-love makes you more attractive and you selfishly loving yourself. This person is trying to get you to wait for them or to hold, you know, hold on to them and you're releasing them. You know, that's what the release is because now you are in your element. When you're in your element, you, you begin to, you know, master, manifest what you want. You know, you can manipulate the energies the way that you see fit. That's going to be more beneficial to you. And that's exactly what you did. And with this world card, that's what I was saying. Like, congratulations, because now there's rewards, this recognition, someone that you've broken a hex, um, you know, broken free from um, is definitely, you know, a feeling a lot of pain because we have method man bring the pain. Um, but this person was definitely like that dark night of the soul. They got a lot of negative energy, devil energy around them. And I feel like you were doing a lot of praying, not only for yourself and your circumstance, but also for them to break free from some sort of illusion. But I do feel like there's an ending. Um, and this ending is leading to some sort of bright future, some sort of infinite supply, some sort of a positive um, outcome for you. So why is um, mantra, bodies of water, breaking free here? See that? Strength. So you've taken your strength, your power back, you're owning your power, you're standing in your power, you're standing your ground, you're speaking your truth. And I feel like you, you, you kind of like definitely, and with bring the pain, I feel like, you know, this person that was bringing you a lot of pain and hurt by you breaking free um, from this, you know, generational curse. Um, it, it was because you took your power back. That's the way you was able to break free. Uh, and if you look here, this, this, you know, this person is controlling um, this lion, you know, and so that speaks to the power. And if you look closely, he has six eyes. And so you used your first eye to see there was a lot of downloads, divine intervention, but you definitely, um, you, you cut off the things that wasn't serving you, the things that was bringing you pain, the things that was bringing you, you know, very methodically, you know, they were very methodical in how they would bring pain, um, very methodical in how they would deceive you know, how they would betray you, but they're reaping what they sowed and you are as well. You're in your power. You're not allowing people because the sun is right here. So, you know, I do feel like you became illuminated and very clear, started to see people for who they were. And so that's why you're able to like, you know, have this reset. Um, and it's because you, you know, you had to connect to your higher self in order to know um, what was going on. You know, you tapped into that Christ consciousness. And you started to see people who, for who they were. And now look at this Queen of Pentacles. So you're in your power. Not only are you 
in your power, loving yourselves, but you also have achieved some sort of major success. You're coming into abundance. Remember, you had that uh, Mother Mawu. So you do have, and look at this, we got coffee, and this is called toast. So this is like toast and celebrations. You toast. I would like to give a toast. So the divine is giving a toast to you all with this Queen of Pentacles. You're going to have not only stability, Scorpios, but you're going to be self-sufficient. I feel like others are very drawn to you, very attracted to you because you are um, very magical, very mysterious, very powerful. You have a lot of um, a lot of domestic skill sets. Like you know how to cook. Some of you all love to cook. You love to like um, decorate. Maybe you're interior decorators. Um, you're very crafty, you know, with whatever you do. I feel like you love to look good, dress nice. You care about your appearance. But more importantly than that, I just feel like um, you are very self-sufficient. You know, you've established a very solid foundation for yourself. And we did see that Nine of Pentacles, which showed, you know, that you worked um, your asses off to get to this place. And that's why now you're attracting a lot of attention. You're radiating this love and light. And with this song, Toast by Coffee, I feel like you're now, you know, being rewarded, recognized by the divine. They're blessing you with some sort of wish fulfillment. You have an emperor here and you have someone uh, who has their eyes on you. Somebody who's very much, you turned your back to somebody that was being deceptive though. I feel like this person was trying to control and monopolize. And now this person's almost like reflecting back. But you also have someone else from your past who's like, you know, it's like they're reminiscing because remember you have they're tuning into your channel. So I do feel like you got a couple of folks who are watching you because you are like literally in your power. You're standing on your square. You're doing something that's really um, it's really like I feel people are kind of like impressed. They didn't see this, you know, this talent or this skill set. They didn't maybe they didn't see you doing this because, as I said, maybe in, in the past you didn't really particularly like standing in front of you know, an audience and communicating. For some of you, I did hear speaking engagements. So, you know, but I feel like you, you turn that pain into power. You turn that fear, you know, into fearlessness. But congratulations, Scorpios, for, you know, achieving this level of independence and self-sufficiency. We all know that your independence is a foundation for your strength, for your security, for your happiness. Um, but this is a beautiful reading from beginning to end. Um, and I want to toast to you all who did the work, who did your due diligence. I want to say thank you to all of you uh, for tuning and tapping into the channel. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. And um, if you will, please be kind to hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. I appreciate all of your comments. I'm trying to do better in responding back. Of course, it's going to get more difficult. Um, you know, the larger the platform is or the more the comments come in. But just know I appreciate you all. I am truly humbled. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much. I want to give a shout out to my beloved soul brother. Um, he blessed me with uh, Cash App yesterday. Um, and I just want to say thank you kindly, King. Uh, to Leonard, thank you so much, beloved. Um, just for your shows of kindness, I send and rotate that back to you. May you receive it infinitely. Thank you so much to all who have tuned in. I hope the messages resonate. Until next time, peace. Ashe, love and light.